practical application. The case studies where the Peter principle is at work are both numerous and non-existent at the same time. They are numerous, since each of us easily manages to imagine a situation where an incompetent employee is promoted, recognizing the signs described by Peter among our colleagues or superiors. As for saying that they actually prove incompetence, that is another matter. It is quite difficult, and most human resource managers know this well, to measure the performance of an employee. Similarly, employees will often tend to find their superior incompetent because it is easier to criticize others than to take responsibility. Most of the time, literature presents cases where incompetence is claimed, but comes from little more than the imagination of Peter Principal supporters. In this sense, real case examples are non-existent.